Now it's time for baby dedication. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Akambi, congratulations. We thank God for his goodness. We thank God for safe delivery. We thank God for his mercies. We thank God for his faithfulness over your family thus far. And I pray for you that for the remainder of the year and for the remainder of your life, that goodness, mercy, favor of God will follow you, will follow your children in Jesus' name. Um, when we do baby dedications, people say, you know, why? I've answered it a few times, but I'll say it again. It's because whoever you worship is the one that you belong to. As children of God, we worship the almighty God. And so when you have a child, number one, you are acknowledging the fact that it is by grace. It's just the grace of God. The entire pregnancy is a miracle of God. And then the delivery process itself is a tremendous miracle. And so when we hear the cry of the baby, and when we can talk to the mother and we say, God bless you, she says, amen, the mother is well, the baby is well, then we praise God. And of course, for the grandparents, it's tremendous blessing that not only have they been able to see their children get married, they are now having the privilege of seeing their children's children. So I thank God for your life, Ma. I thank God for the Akombis. I thank God for uh, Mrs. Akombis' family. I thank God for friends and everybody that is here. So why do we dedicate children to God? We dedicate children to say that this child does not belong to me. <coughs> you are saying that this child belongs to God. And what belongs to God is what you give to God. Now, in the old days, for us from Africa, if you look at your names, you will know what your parents, your great grandparents believed in. They dedicated you to their own gods or deities and they, they put that in your name but because you are Christians and we are called by Christ to be followers of Christ we are also dedicating our children to God more importantly we are witnessing to the world that see what God has done as a testimony then most importantly you are prophesying into the life of the child you are pouring into the life of a child. A famous Nigerian politician who is late now used to say, and I loved his proverb, that if you say prayers don't work, kneel down, let them curse you. And <laughs> it's just like the people that say there's no God. The power of life and death is in your tongue. Every prophetic pronouncement into the life of this child God will bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you look at the names of our children, the meaning of these names give meaning to the life of the child. God will pour into this child like no other in the mighty name of Jesus. God will open the heavens over your family. God will enlarge your coast. Everything that you need to provide the proper training for the child, God will provide for you. And for both of you, your love for one another and for your entire family will work stronger and stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil will come between you. No evil will come upon your children. You will be taught of the Lord and you will train your children in the way of the Lord. They will be for miracle signs and wonders. Any secret tears that you have, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, God will wipe those tears away. Amen. All things, I repeat it, all things will work together for good. Because you love God and you have been called according to his purpose, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. The refrain, I did the naming ceremony, so I'm not going to take too long. Is that, not for you, just for all of us, God is not mocked. When I was young, my mother took me to church. If my mother took me to mosque, I would be a Muslim. <laughs> That's just it. I may change later on, but I'll, and if she took me to shrine, I'll be a, you know, shrinist. 
having something. You understand? So if you don't take your children to church, that's why some people struggle even today. They, 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 they never had that experience. And so you are wondering, we are talking about worship. Why don't they worship? They, they just don't know. They have no connection. Please prioritize God in the life of your children. We have a club in this church called Pastor's Club where the first two Saturdays of the month I meet with children from about six. They keep sneaking in younger, younger ones. It was from eight. But now we have some six-year-olds to about 14, 15. And we just talk about God. We pray. They learn the piano. We do all sorts of things. I won't tell you some things that we're going to be doing, but we're going on a trip to Six Flags. We're going to be doing... So we want you to envy them and be jealous, but nothing will come out of it. But these children know... They are, they are learning. In fact, today we are starting our prayer line for the children for one month. So from 7 o'clock to 7.25, all the children and your, anybody can join as well. Adults can join. We, we have, there's a devotional that I wrote, which is the book of Proverbs. We're just going to read the book of Proverbs chapter 1. We did chapter 1 yesterday, so today we'll do chapter 2. And then we'll talk about it. Then we pray, prophesy into their lives. Train up your children in the way they should go. As these young men and young women grow up, challenges will come. But they will remember the God of their father, Akonbi. They will remember the God of their mother, Akonbi. And it is what you do, they will mirror. That's why some children have no choice, they go to alcohol. They have no choice, they go to drugs. They have no choice, they go to violence. Because that is the God that their parents were worshipping. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. I pray for all of us. Make time for your children. Make time to talk to them. Don't be satisfied with good grades. Good grades on the way to hell is a problem. Good grades with problem is a problem. Let our children fear God. It will be as if they don't know God, but they will know him. When you are talking to them, let's pray. They are frowning. Let's do this. It doesn't matter. We frowned more than them. And look at us here today. I pray for you that you and all of us here, we have the courage to be bold and to train up our children in the way they should go. So I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you are in a Christian home. Um, I'm happy that you are bringing up your children in a Christian home. Please continue to do the work. Please continue to push. Don't give up. Don't give in. I'm talking to all of us as well. Don't let this society define you. You make up your mind that as for me and the children that God has given to me, we shall serve the Lord. The God of America is the same God in Nigeria, is the same God in America, Japan. Don't say, this is America. This is God's own country. Where you are from is God's own country. Everywhere you are is God's own. So let's bring up these children in the way of the Lord. So we're going to dedicate this child to God. The way we'll do it, I'll come and pick up the child. My wife will come up. We'll pray into the child. We'll prophesy. And um, we'll hand the baby over. Then you go to the back. You dance. You give us testimony. I think Mr. Akumbitu will give testimony of all the hard work that he has been doing. Who was the one? Somebody in the church the other day, we did one testimony. The man's own testimony was more than the wife. And I always wonder, who did the most work? The man said he was stressed. Hallelujah. Is the photographer. As usual, all Citadel of Greatness babies are so fine. Eh? If you are pregnant, just come to Citadel of Greatness quickly and deliver. Don't go and deliver elsewhere so that you will see the beauty of God. I'm joking. Oh, don't come. <laughs> it is what you have that you will... What do they say? How do they say it now? What's Bela Ruge in English? <laughs> It is what you have that you will lift up. Amen? 
So you will cherish. Citadel of greatness is ours. Amen? All right. So the way we do it is that we're going to, I'm going to um, dedicate the baby in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As I call out the names, you would repeat the names after me. I'll say in the name of the Father, you say amen. Name of the Son, amen. And the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we just want to thank you. We thank you that we are gathering together to rejoice. We thank you for safe delivery for your daughter. We thank you for this addition to the Akobi family. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration. You are worthy to be praised, to be adored, and to be magnified. As this young man has been brought into the house of God today to be dedicated, we are going to dedicate him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Every prophetic pronouncement that we make today shall come to pass in his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is contrary to the plan and purpose of God for his life will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In the name of the Father, Asha, you have to say it with me, oh, Asha, Ola Dimeji, Akorede, Oluwaduro Timi, Ayomikun, Omotanwa, Ola Dele, Akonbi, in the name of the Son, Asha, Ola Dimeji, Akorede, Oluwaduro Timi, Ayomikun, Omotanwa, Ola Dele, the Son of Akonbi, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Asha, Ola Dimeji, Akorede, Oluwa duro timi ayomikun omotanwa oladele the son of akonbi we dedicate you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit father we prophesy into the life of your son the wealth has come home the goodness of god has come home this is the child that they have been looking for the child of favor, the child of blessing, the child of breakthrough, the child of promotion. You will be a source of joy to your parents. You will be a source of blessing to your parents. You will be a terror to the camp of the enemy. Ayomikun, your joy will continue to fill the lives of your parents and of all that come in contact with you. The joy of the Lord will forever be your strength. The almighty God will rest and abide with you. The grace of God will abound for you. Akorede, I like that name. It says you will bring blessings home. You will bring favor home. You will bring goodness home. You will be a source of joy. Oladimeji means my, my wealth, my blessing, my favor is now true. Because you have been born into this family and you are the second sibling, you will be an addition of blessing, an addition of favor. You will continue to bring double joy, double grace, double blessing to your family. Everywhere you go, you will find favor with God and with man. Everything that you touch will prosper. God will order your steps. God will ordain your path. Goodness, mercy, faithfulness will be your portion. You will not know sorrow. You will not know shame. You will not fail. You will not fall. You will not falter. Every time we hear of you, it will be good news. Every time we see you, it will be rejoicing. You will continually be doing great and mighty things. Through you, many will come to the knowledge of Christ. Because we have dedicated you in the house of God, you will never bow to any other God. You will not bow to any idol. The favor and the hand of God is upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.
Father, we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful day. This is the day that you have made. We're dedicating this beautiful baby back onto you. This baby will never be dedicated to any other God in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we have come back today to say thank you on behalf of the Akombi for seeing them through the nine months, oh Lord. It is only by your grace. We're grateful that they delivered this baby safely. When it comes to this baby, we will never hear any bad news in the name of Jesus. All of us here, we will not know your graveyard in the name of Jesus. Amen. When we hear of you, we will only be of good news in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Devil will not know your set time. When it is time for you to do the right things, you do it at the right time. When it is time for you to sit, you will sit. When it is time for you to crawl, you will crawl. When it is time for you to stand, you will stand. When it is time for you to walk, you will walk. In the name of Jesus, God will continually protect you. You will be the apple of God's eye. When, you, when, when it is time for you to, to start manifesting the gift of God in you, when you call upon one billion, will answer you in the name of Jesus. You'll be a blessing unto your generation. You'll be a blessing unto your generation. You'll be a blessing unto your generation. you bring joy unto everybody you come in contact with. And concerning you and your siblings, you the, the joy of the Lord, the love of God will, will bound you together. There shall be no separation before, between you in the name of Jesus. For your, for your parents, everything they need to take care of you, God himself will put, provide, provide for them in the name of Jesus. You shall be taught of the Lord, not of this world, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I present to you, you are going to tell me the names um, um, in order. I present to you, Mr. What's the first name? Some, wait, wait, wait. We're doing one by one. So some people are cheating inside. No. Number one name. Number two, are they posting it? I, I look, I see you, Asha. I didn't even know you are showing all this behind me. All right, okay. Number one, number two, Pastor Mrs. is cheating. Number three, the parents are not allowed. Number four, uh -huh. eh, what? Uh, look at that one, say Ayomiku. It's not Ayomiku, it's Oluwa Duroti me. Number five is Ayomiku. Uh, it's not Akori Diu. You are, you are dabaruing this thing. Number, number whatever. Number the next one. Omotanwa. Okay. Then the next one. Okay, let's now say it straight. No, Mr. Asha. Ola Dimeji, Akorede, Oluwa Durotimi, Ayomikun, Omotanwa, Ola Dele, Akonbi, of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Citadel of Greatness. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choir, please come up. Akonbi family, please go to the back. Friends, family, well-wishers, please go to the back with them. We'll dance forward. You give your thanksgiving offering. You'll dance unto the Lord, and we will celebrate. If you need an envelope, there will be one in front of your chair. God bless you. Engineering.
There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. Jesus. 
because you have come to rejoice with the Akonbi family, rejoicing will not cease in your homes. For those that have traveled from far and near, because you have come to sow joy into their lives, joy unspeakable will be your harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. For as many that are here that are asking God for the fruit of the womb, for themselves or for a loved one, I pray for you today because you have witnessed this day you will give testimony on behalf of yourself or your loved one in the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God will be with you. The grace of God will abound for you. The mercy of God will locate you all the days of your life. The remainder of this year will be a season of blessing for you. A season of promotion for you and a season of favor so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. So family and well-wishers, let's put our hands together for them as they go back to their seats. And Mr. and Mrs. Akonbi can remain um, to give testimony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. This testimony has been um, about five years in the making. So please bear with me. <laughs> if not for God. After I had my son, Ethan, you know, everyone kind of starts asking after one or two years. They're like, oh, when is the second one coming? You know, ah, we, had, we need a girl. <laughs> and, you know, it wasn't hard to, to get pregnant the first time. So you wouldn't imagine that it would suddenly become difficult to get pregnant the, the second time. We waited one year, two years. Um, then you know we said there's something going on so we need to seek more intervention we need to seek medical help um from my first appointment you know with with the the doctors to help with this i was shocked at the number of people that were in the waiting room it was it was amazing like sometimes you would go for those clinic appointments and there would be nowhere to sit because there were so many people that you know are looking for the same thing it's so hard for so many people but nobody really talks about it you know except if you actually meet them there but on a day-to-day -day basis when you meet people when you talk to them nobody really kind of talks about it and i also wouldn't feel really feel very comfortable you know just bringing it up um saw different doctors, went through many procedures. Um, it, was, it was hard. I don't know if anyone here is familiar with the process. I know several people are familiar with the process of in vitro fertilization, but it is very difficult. I can't say how many injections. <laughs> the injections, the symptoms, the procedures, the surgeries, it was it was hard but i thank god because there are so many people that go through the same thing but they don't have anything to show for it at the end of the day okay. at the end of the day they can't you know they can't encourage themselves and say oh this was this is what has come of it if not for god through this process i had my 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 tribe the people that God sends into my life just to uplift me, just to raise me, to guide me. There were people that, you know, there were times that I was tired, I was ready to just call it quits, but they were there. I had my prayer partner. I know she won't want me to call her name. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm going to not to. Thank you. God bless you. There were times that we would pray, like, we would just, you know, have, okay, at nine o'clock, we're going to call. But I would just call and I just didn't have the strength. And somehow God would just lead her and tell her that, you know, this is one of my low, low points that I, I don't even have the energy to pray. And she would just pick up and pray. Pray for me, pray for herself, pray for us. And I know that God himself will meet you at the point of your need. Um, it finally happened though. <laughs> It finally happened, the positive pregnancy test. After five cycles, the sixth cycle was successful. And I thank God because he is everything that God promised me that he would be. And he will be everything that God has set for his life. Everything I know he lays his hands upon will be blessed. His name means blessed. And he is a blessing already to our family. And we thank God. We thank God because this is the beginning of great things. And God knows everybody's secret prayer, everybody's heart. And I know that God is going to bless Ethan also. And he's going to raise him and make him a pride of his generation. People will see him and marvel at what God will do. God has done in his life and the more that God will do. I thank my family. Wow, you guys, mommy, Ishanga, my friends, my siblings who chose not to come to sit in front. <laughs> Didn't even stand up when they said who are the new people. <laughs> But they were there for me, my friends, my fathers, who have always checked up on me, Uncle or to me, Dr. Guaha, you guys have been amazing. I think, I can't even, I, I'm, I won't call any more names because there are so many names, but people have been with me. God has provided people to be with me through this journey. And I know that anybody who is waiting on the Lord for this, God will meet you at the point of your need in any way, shape, or form that it needs to be. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, praise God. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you, God. Um, the journey has been long. Um, I want to say thank you to Pastor. Um, you know, I think... Uh, on our way to church, he just he let us know just call you know just call, let's say a, uh, say a word of prayer. Um, I think you know prayer is definitely important. Um, it is very very important. Um, I want to thank God for Tony. Um, I know, like I said, the journey has been long. There's this Nigerian palace that says you know like people after people give birth they say. You want to, uh, we would hear the voice of the mom and the child. I think after this, after the procedure, um, when she was going to the um, the recovery room, that was the most period I've ever been scared. You know, it was like um, the. I think there were so many deliveries at the hospital that day. And it just felt like these people were confused. For one minute, it felt like they were confused. And I'm looking at my wife, and she's like, you know, like, she's supposed to be recovering, and you have people, like, not knowing what they're doing. It felt like they didn't know what they were doing. And I'm, like, seeing her shaking. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, you know, when people say you hear the voice of the child, and you hear the voice of the mother, for that moment, I was scared. Uh, I'm... I apologize, my voice is shaking. <laughs> um, but I want to thank God. Um, um, I want to thank God that she's here with us. And 
I want to thank God for the baby. I want to thank God for Ethan. I want to thank God for our family. I want to thank God for the Church of God. Um, you guys have uh, definitely supported us, um, you know, all through the way. Um, I think the the after the baby came, the the amount of love that we kind of like received was it was uh, it was a little overwhelming for me. I felt like oh God, like people do care, and I want to say thank you to each and everyone for that. Um, so yeah, I said it all. I really don't have much to say than to say thank God. And also thank you to Pastor again. Um, like I said, he's been really good. Hallelujah. You know, this is a testimony. I just want you to, to cover the testimony with the blood of Jesus. Uh, today is Thanksgiving Sunday and they say, they just want to say thank you. Thank you for where God has brought them from. Thank you for the procedures. Thank you for safe delivery. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for strengthening them. Thank you for a good result. Thank you for this wonderful baby that you have given to them who is a blessing. Thank you for Ethan. Thank you for Mr. and Mrs. Akombi. We bless your name. Father, thank you that we are rejoicing with them and we will never sorrow over them. Father, today I pray that everything that they need from you, you will grant to them. As a family, you will bless them. As a family, you will strengthen them. The journey ahead, Father, make it easy for them. Everything that they need, financially, spiritually, to bring up their children in the way of the Lord, grant to them. In those moments when they are tired, carry them, Lord. In those moments when they are weary, strengthen them, Lord. When they are crawling, Father, lift them up so that they begin to soar like eagles. At the end, Lord, we ask that you take all the glory, you take all the honor, you take all adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for them. Congratulations. We give glory to God. God bless you. Please, can you take the mic? God bless you. Hallelujah.